Hi. Hello, Esther. Hi, how are you? Mzuri sana. Wewe ulisema utakuwa unatuvalia tu hiyo wiper. Ah ah. Ni vile kumenyesha. Wait a minute. Kumenyesha, what does it have to do? Si umesema ati nitakuwa na nawavalia hii wiper. Si ndio hiyo wiper ndio nashangaa kwa nini wiper yako it's Oh. Hatukuoni? Hapana, eh? mimi nataka tu nikae hivyo. I think even me next time nitakuwa nitavalia watu wiper. We'll just have a <laughs> we'll just have a zoom na ni, ni, ni zoom lakini ni audio. Okay. Ini umekuwa aje leo? Mimi nimekuwa poa. Yeah, we thank God, you know, even with the curfew to at least yeah. be able to reach home early. Yes. Yeah, Patricia Bariako. Poa, poa teacher. Kwa salama. Eh, ni kwa salama siwezi complain. Tunashukuru Mungu. Okay that's nice. Yeah. Okay, sawa sawa. Huyu mwingine anaona hapo anaitwa nani? Eh Prudence. Prudence ameji mute. Sharon Mambo. Poa sana, sasa pia. Nzuri sana. Kujanyeshewa kama mimi. Kwani nikuuliza una wavuli? <laughs> Sina chaebuni kwa jua rambe. Ai, ya mavuli. Eh. Eh? Eh, ya mavuli. Okay, hata tuko salama. Niko salama na shukuru sana. Okay, sawa sawa. Prudence, how are you? Inaka Prudence leo ametuvalia pia yeye waipa ya ametumute. Uh, but I think uh, Joyce, I can't hear Joyce, so our attack is salamu. So, uh, Prudence, hi. Yeah. Prudence has a key, Kabisa. So, I think, I think we'll, we'll just continue. Uh, Prudence. And now there's a, I don't see jo, uh, Sharon. Where is uh, Dennis? I don't know. How comes? I'm tafuta, I'm tafuta. Huh? Did you go happy? Eh, because I'm a potter, Sana. Hmm, but that I go to class last time. Eh, Pia last time I I can't even tell you. Eh, but I, I just hope he's uh, he's well. Eh? Mm. Okay, sawa sawa. So I think uh, basically what I wanted us to do today was just to have an interactive uh, session. Uh, we try to see kama kuna kitu tungetaka to expound on kama tukona challenges or basically you know but related to what we are doing so far and especially now on uh, life scales so that is uh, the objective of today's class for us to be able to share yeah which topic maybe because i think last time we were i was to share notes on life skills actually i have the video which i'm downloading now I also have a video on uh, on stress management, and uh, I think uh, we also had uh, on the same the note that I shared this week we had stress management, we had uh, apathy, and uh, we had uh, assertive assertiveness. So basically, it was just to see, try and see. New happy to kona challenges uh, so far on the areas that we are, we've captured, and maybe we see way forward in case kuna questions. Yeah, then we try to answer them. Okay.
So maybe I will start with uh, Esther. It's voluntary, but you know we can speak randomly. Maybe one speaker at uh, at a time. So the floor is open. Maybe mm -hmm. I have a question. Mm -hmm. mm. Communication ikokwa both life skill na office management. Mm -hmm. Communication skills, my dear, is, is a unit on its own. Okay? I, but I in, can't I, hear you. I'm saying. Unan hey. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying. Yes. Communication is a mm -hmm. unit on its own. Okay? Mm -hmm. But in life mm -hmm. skill, there is that session your yeah, communication. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it is a complete unit on its own. So Utapata, mm -hmm. when we are doing life skills, there's a place where we shall talk about communication, mm -hmm. which I don't think we shall do that because already we've captured it on the other side of communication skills. Because we have already done. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is, is that clear? Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. So, yes. Okay. So, so, uh, I, uh, any other person? Sharon? Sharon? Okay, so uh, uh, Patricia? Yes. Uh -huh. Any issues that you don't understand? Any clarification? that you would want? Well, so far, so good. It's only the, 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 the log book. You said something. Yes, yes, yes. About yes, the log yes. the assignment. Yeah, something. yeah. I will, I will give you, I wanted to cover something before I give you, OK? So I still know, I still remember. So I will share that perhaps maybe by next week. Okay. Yeah. Uh, prudence. Hello. Prudence. Yes. Nini mbaya na speaker hayonge? Oh. Oh, I don't. Uh. I don't know. Okay. Because our, from okay. my side, it is okay. Yeah, yeah. No, the time I was saying hi, and I, yep. think I couldn't hear you. You were actually on mute. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. now here. Personally, there, there is no question. I think I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. There's somebody who has joined us with an OPPO. I don't know the name. Uh, who has joined us with that uh, OPPO? Sharon, is it you? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. OPPO. Okay. Yes, so Sharon, maybe we are trying to see come to gonna challenges. What is it that we would want to have help on? Okay, on my side, Mini Kosawa. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, thanks. Okay, so is a note to Nasoma, is a videos in a piece idea. I mean, are we really understanding them as we are supposed to?
Yes, yes. Okay. Hello, Joyce, how are you? Joyce Adongo. Odongo, sorry, sorry, sorry. Joyce, you're fine? Uh, Joyce, are you able to hear what I'm saying? Okay, sour, sour. So anyway, basically, let me just do like a small summary on uh, the last note that I shared with you this week, which was on uh, stress management, uh, stress management, apathy, and uh, what you call assertiveness, okay? I think uh, most of us, apart from uh, maybe somebody like uh, Joyce and uh, Patricia, I think we, we were able to handle stress <coughs> last time. And we basically say that uh, stress is just one way, yeah, under which our bodies behave, especially when we are going through certain challenges, certain um, uh, maybe problems. And uh, it is important for us to be able to know because it is very normal for us to have this kind of uh, a challenge. However, how we manage ourselves and especially during that time is very important because you can imagine, like for example, we have seven of us here. So let's assume we're all working in this organization and uh, as we work in this organization, uh, we might encounter different stress levels. So if all of us have got our own stress and we don't know how to manage it, that will become a problem to us or to the organization. So basically stress management is trying to come up with strategies that will assist us to be able to cope with stress when, when it comes, yeah? So I'm sure all of us, are, at some point, we are stressed. Are you normally stressed, uh, Esther? Yes. And I'm sure you're normally stressed when you have a shot. It's definitely, yes. Yeah? Yeah. But you know, it is very normal for you to be stressed. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and you know, it is not very, it's not something unique. You know, we all go through our own different levels of stress, right? Yes. Sharon, do you normally get stressed? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. why, why do you get stressed? When I'm not working. Yeah. It depends, maybe at work. Yeah, when, when, when at work, maybe you have no customers or customers have not paid your debts, you know? Yes. Okay. Your boss. Your boss. Yes, when, mm -hmm. Your customer have not yet paid the deadline. Then the boss is telling me, I don't want to know. What I yes. Want. Yeah. So okay, okay. Sawasawa, uh, prudence? Uh, most definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I normally get stressed. Okay. Yep, at work. Even sometimes at home. Yes. <laughs> Very true. Very true. But then let me tell you, that is actually very, very true, you know? relationship, maybe breakups, divorce, you know, it, 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 it's true, yeah? So that affects you because sometimes you try to think that there's no any other life beyond that, you know? But you actually come and realize you can even do better, you know? So it is how you handle that situation, yeah? It is the positive attitude you have towards that situation 
that will enable you to cope with that particular situation. So stress is very normal. We get stress because of work, we get stress because of family issues. We also get stress because of relationship. Maybe when talk about work, maybe you have been transferred to a different location and uh, you know, you also have got, maybe you're a salesperson, you've got targets. You are required to sell, you know, a certain amount of money every day. Mm -hmm. And now with these corona issues, you're not able to cope. You know, you're not able to do that. So what happens is that you might end up getting stress. So stress is very, very normal. But then what is it that you need to do? Or what are some of the symptoms that you need to watch out when you're being stressed? Or how do you know you are stressed? How do you know you are stressed, Esther? Mm. Being How? moody. Being moody. Okay. okay, very true. Joyce. Joyce. Okay, uh, Patricia, how, how do you behave when you're stressed? I at times feel like not eating. I don't have any appetite. You have no appetite. <laughs> <laughs> Prudence, Nini. <laughs> eh? <laughs> okay. Well, so Prudence, you have no <laughs> yeah, you don't feel like eating. You have no appetite. Other people, they eat too much. Yeah, somebody else. <laughs> Yeah, all the time they want to eat because they think when they eat, they will try to forget. Yeah, others go into alcohol, you know, they spend a lot of their time in bars, or maybe others even engage themselves in gambling. Yeah, so you our body behaves differently. Some of us become very moody, some of us don't want to eat, we even isolate, we have got headaches. Yeah, we've got constipation. Yeah, so the body behaves in a particular manner. But you know, we can't say when you have a headache, you are stressed. Yeah, or you can't say when you have a, you're moody, you're also stressed. But because you have observed yourself before, you are able to rule out and identify that you are actually going through some stressful nature. Yeah, so we all have different symptoms. So when Patricia says she doesn't feel like eating, I don't think we should laugh because maybe that's how she behaves. Maybe me, I'll, I'll prefer to sleep a lot, you know, for long hours, you know, I just want to sleep. Yeah, some of us, you know, want to spend a lot of time on our own. So we all behave differently, yeah, towards that particular time. However, Regardless of the challenges that you know we face and the symptoms that we have to face when you are going through that stress, it is important for us to be able to actually realize that this is a norm. Yeah, it is a way of life, and therefore we need to look at it positively. And that's why sometimes you see. When people have got, uh, you know, when they go through stress, you know, they sometimes they might end up getting into a depression. Now, depression gets into the extent, I mean, it, it comes into effect when we don't resolve our stress. Yeah. So how do you think we need to resolve our stress? Taking our vacation. Okay, if it is work related, maybe you're too, you know, you're too busy at work, take a break, you know, take a break because, you know, after all, your work will still continue, you know, yeah, it doesn't mean that it is only you who can work. So if you feel like if this stress is related to work, yeah, you can ask for some time off, maybe to try and unwind. Uh -huh. What else do you think we can do? Always speak it out. Speak out. Share. Yeah. Share yeah. the challenges Sharing. that you're going through. Maybe whatever you could be going through could be easily resolved. 
But until you share that information, you may not be able to get through it. So when you share, you open an opportunity for a solution. That's very true, uh, Prudence. What else do you think we need to do? Bring out the strength. Sorry? What did you say, Oppo? A thirty-seven. Going out with friends. <laughs> oh, going out with friends. Yes. Uh, oh, this is a uh, Jackie. Yes. Okay, Sawa. So, uh, Jackie says that we should go out. You know, don't isolate. Yeah. Just have a supportive family network. This can be either a family or colleagues. Yeah. Don't lose your friends, yeah? Try yeah. to get back to your friends. Establish, you know, when you have a very good uh, support network, yeah, which could either be from your family or even from your colleagues. So maybe what Jackie meant to say, not really going out, but trying to reach out to your colleagues, okay? What else? Look busy, like... Try to exercise, the jogging, the exercises can help. Okay, very, very true. Because sometimes when your body is not able to release all this tension that it has, yeah? So you have to get ways of removing this unnecessary pressure, yeah? Perhaps you could identify a gym where you can go and work out. You could also uh, involve yourself in exercises. Yeah, you can also involve yourself with yoga. You know what yoga is? Yes. Okay, who knows? They can tell us. It is like when you just decide to go in an area where there's total silence and then you just want to meditate and no, no, it's just like the way the Indians do, it's like they're squatting that time, and then yes. they hold their hands, then they just meditate. You're just meditating. <laughs> okay. Patricia, I know for you, you are speaking of it in terms of experience because I know the people you work with also do a lot of that. Yeah. You know? Yes, yes. <laughs> so, actually, yoga is very, very effective. Very, very effective. And you know, also it's very cheap. Yeah, you don't need to hire the services of, you know, going to a jeep or getting a personal trainer or staff. You know, you just go somewhere, maybe not in, of course, you're gonna ask me, where do you go for yoga in Nairobi? You, there are so many places you can go and actually outdoors, yeah? You go outdoors and, you know, you sit there, try to meditate, you know, you're calm you yourself, you know, you are, you know, you, you have a conversation between you and yourself. Yeah. So those are some of the methods that we can use when, or we are going through stressful uh, situations and they will also help us to be able to alleviate the stress levels in our body. However, stress is normal. There's nothing wrong when you have stress. The only problem is when we allow our stress to affect us, either affect the relationship between us and our colleagues. You know, like when you're moody, Patricia, you're very moody. You don't want to talk to anybody, you know, and yet this is work. You know, you have to do certain things. You see, that affects even that organization. So the reason why we are getting to learn about this is to be able to assist us, to be able to cope with it. After all, it is your stress. Yeah? Patricia, when I have my stress, I won't say, me and Patricia, we are have stress. No. I have my own stress. You have got your own stress. Therefore... It is your entire responsibility to be able to manage your stress level as an individual 
and to ensure that it does not come to a point where it's going to affect the relationship that we have with our colleagues. Is that okay? Yes. Up to that point, uh, we are okay? Yes. Okay, so, so the other thing that I shared was on what we call, um, it is called uh, apathy. Okay, apathy. Now, when you hear the word apathy, what comes to your mind? Huh? Apathy. What comes to your mind? It's like when you're trying to sympathize with someone. <laughs> Actually, what comes into most of our minds when you hear the word apathy, it is sympathy. Sympathy. And you know, <laughs> and you know those two are very different. <laughs> They are very, very different. Yeah. Because sympathy is when you feel sorry for somebody. Okay. Empathy is like, sorry? To be empathetic, it is to do what? I just just repeat that statement again. You said what? Okay, so maybe uh, let me just continue and say that uh, apathy and uh, sympathy are two different words. Okay. Hello. Hello, Kim. Nico, Nico, class, Nico, Jack, dog. We are near star. Sorry, I'm sorry. My brother is disturbing me. Pole, pole, ni sana. Hello, you don't need to explain. Utu hong and utu inge box. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we shall not buy that theory. At Taki Kuskia, we want money. We want money. <laughs> money or the box? Not to lose a row. Not to lose a row. Pesa. Students are checking our say. Students want money. Yes. Okay. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that uh, when you talk about apathy and sympathy, sympathy is when you feel sorry for somebody. Somebody. Yeah. But apathy is when you put yourself into that personal shoes. Okay. So that is the difference between sympathy and apathy. So when we are working, empathy. yeah, when we are working in an organization, sometimes we might find ourselves, you know, going beyond sympathy, not just feeling sorry for somebody, but also trying to be in their shoes or trying to fit into their issues that are affecting them at that particular time. Joyce Odongo, let me admit. Oh my God, I have 10 minutes. I don't want to extend because we might have a power blackout here. So, yes. So, because actually it's raining so heavily. So, uh, apathy is just trying to fit yourself into that person's shoes. And sympathy it is just feeling sorry for them. So we say mostly in uh, our workplaces, we might find ourselves in that situation, maybe 
somebody could have lost a relative or a loved one, yeah, or somebody is going through certain challenges, come on, maybe divorce or maybe a heartbreak, yeah. You see, apart from showing them sympathy, apart from feeling sorry for them, it is important for you also to try and fit into their shoes. You can't fit into their shoes, and especially if you have never been in that situation. However, regardless of whether you've been in that situation or never, it is good to show some level of empathy. So when do we show, when do we do this? Sometimes we find ourselves showing empathy when somebody has lost a loved one, or maybe when somebody fails an exam, you know, and you know, we are very good in comforting them. Ah, oh, don't worry, you know, next time you will pass. Yeah, you yourself, you have never failed. But because you're trying to comfort them, you're trying to show them, you know, you're, showing, you're trying to show that you really care. You try to encourage them by telling them that, you know, despite that, you know, even if it's, if it's exam in which they failed, even if they failed, it's not the end of life. You know, you can, you can tell them that, yeah? You can also encourage them by telling them that, you know, next one that you're going to do, I am sure that you will not fail. You also show empathy, maybe when somebody loses a job, yeah, because you know, it's not easy to manage yourself without a job. That job is a source of, uh, you know, it's a source of uh, your living. Yeah, so when you lose a job, you might try to find out, not really find out, but you might try to imagine what that person is going through. Yeah, so you console that person who is hurting. Yeah, even listening to them taking time to listen to their problems, okay? And sometimes you even assist them, yeah? But also don't assist them with an intention that, you know, when it's over, you're gonna say, ah, why it's not for me? I'm gonna manage your heartbreak, you know? Yeah, or why it's not for me? They wouldn't have gotten another job. Help them, not with an intention of, being paid back or seeking certain favors. So that's what we mean by empathy. And we've got something else here that I want to talk about uh, faster. It's called uh, assertiveness. Now, assertiveness is what? Yeah, there are people you might find yourself, you know, in a situation whereby you know, people don't want to talk about their problems. People are so conservative. Yeah, so basically assertiveness is, be, is one way under which uh, you communicate your heart out. Yeah, you express yourself, you express your fears, you express your beliefs, yeah? Yani, you're being very, very honest. Inesemekananga nile inasema, nikufungua roho. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you say you, you're just open, you're just being honest. Yeah, you say what is in your mind. Yeah, so an assertive behavior enables a person to act in his own best interest for himself without undue uh, pressure. They are expressing themselves, their honesty, etc. However, when they're doing this, they don't deny the right of other, as in one on there too, but even as you do that, how you're not stopping other people from sharing their views. So what is it that, uh, what are some of the characteristics of people who are assertive? One, they talk straight, yeah? You talk straight in terms of, you talk what is in your mind, yeah? Some people also accept compliments, yeah? They accept compliments, 
Yeah, I, you know, like I say, I, I, I love that shoe. I love your dress, you know, and they're gonna say, thank you. Yeah, then this kind of people also are very outgoing. Yeah, they're not rigid, they're not timid, they're not naive. These are people who can get whatever they want to in life. Then they also use very appropriate facial talk. Facial talk is the way you look. You are able to tell this person is not pretending. They will not have a smile when they don't need to have that smile. They also seek for clarification. As in, they don't say, okay, maybe you on Dr. Julia Badayapana. If it is something they don't understand, they will seek clarification at that particular point. So these people, I don't know now, you need to describe yourself. You need to know whether you follow or you fall in that category. Then, of course, you've got the other people who are not assertive, non-assertive. No, they're non-assertive is the opposite of assertive. Now, these people are very shy. They don't talk their mind out. They are not honest because when you cannot share what is really in your mind, I think you're being, un you, you're doing, you're being unfair to yourself and also you're being dishonest. Now, actually, these people are the opposite of the assertive people. Yeah, they don't make, I mean, they don't make uh, decisions, you know, they're just waiting for the decisions to be made on their behalf. They don't express themselves. Yeah, they are also not confident. Then, of course, we've got another group of uh, people that we call the aggressive. Now, aggressive means what? This person will say what they have to say. And they will ensure that whatever they have to say has to be done their way. And sometimes they can also be very dominant. Yani at a push to kitu iende his own way. And they don't care about other people. Yeah. So those three categories of people, it is important for you to identify. Yeah? I don't want to ask you which one you are, which one you're not, because this is a personal thing. However, it is good to ensure that in most cases, you fall under the assertive people. Yeah. So out of the assertive, the non-assertive and the aggressive behavior, you need to identify which group you are in. However, it doesn't mean because you're a non-assertive, you cannot be an assertive person. So there are things that you need to do to ensure that you fall in the assertive group. And perhaps one of the most important things that you can do to yourself is by improving on your self-esteem because the self-esteem comes very handy when it comes to behavior characteristics of people who have low self-esteem and ways of improving low self-esteem this is now what will change or will make you an assertive Person. So I think with that uh, summary, uh, I've been able to capture that. I think I'm only left with one minute and uh, perhaps uh, that uh, should come on the, uh, the end of our video. Oh, nice to see you, Prudence. <laughs> Nice to see you. Thank you. 